السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Blessings to all of you So we all know that we are living in a three-dimensional existence and we call it the third dimension But where we come from most of us and where we go back to most of us is actually the fourth dimension this is one of the reasons why could have named his past the fourth way uh, which means the way towards the fourth dimension in the fourth dimension is what we call our soul that uh, is continuously linked to us speaking to us, sending messages to us. Mostly it happens in the night because what blocks us to receive these messages directly while we are awakened is simply that we are not ready for it, that we are not able to act on it. Yeah. So this connection will establish in the moment we are getting readier and more able to act on what we need to hear, what we need to listen. And for this reason, these fourth dimensional messages are sent, have been sent to people who can receive them. And they were writing them down. And these are the sacred books. Yeah, these are actually messages from the fourth dimension for us. And the same thing, if we are not ready to hear it, to listen to it, we deny them or we belittle them or we do whatever about it. So let me explain how it works a little bit in our way we live so we are born in the three-dimensional world, but our mind functions actually two-dimensional. And as we are very much identified with our mind, it forces us in a kind of two-dimensional lifestyle or position in our life. And that has consequences like, for example, that we do not know what is really our next step usually we do not know what is the greater goal what is the what is there to achieve for us we think it we have many possibilities but we do not really know yeah so the other is that we feel separate yeah because we are encaged in our own maze in our own labyrinth and so this is where we feel separate. Yeah. And we have the impression that our situation is in some aspect the worst. Yeah. Even so, an abstract mind can tell us there are people who live in much more severe situations than ourselves. But emotionally spoken, every person feels his own situation to be the worst. Yeah. logically their own mind to be the best yeah. so this is the situation in the second dimension now the, as the fourth dimension sends us permanently messages one will come and hit you yeah. it is not for everyone the same it can happen when you are young it can happen when you are a teenager, it can happen when you are elder or already very old. It is not um, in our understanding to know when it happens. So when you are someone who watches this video, for example, that means you have been contacted with the fourth dimension and something in you responds. That's why you're interested in those matters. And between the 
Second and the fourth dimension is the third. And the third represents the spiritual path, the religion. Oh, and religion means literally what connects you. Yeah. So the third is the way that connects us from the second to the fourth, right? And when we understand that, we also understand that it is one path for each of us, but it does not mean it is an individual path that is different from everyone else. It is actually a path in the path. A small river unites with a bigger one. That is the path. No. And um, how successful we can walk a path. Yeah. And how much we understand that we need guidance in it because as we cannot listen very well, as we are not able to really see, we need a guide yeah, that has this stronger connection to the fourth dimension. Yeah. And he is a kind of, of uh, relay, he's a kind of receiver yeah, that receives and gives it to us. And like this, we, we can um, progress. No. So it's all about how we how we actually walk the path. No. And to walk the path successfully, to walk this third dimension, this bridge, it's described as a bridge. No. In our tradition, we say it's a sword, the bridge is like a sword. And it is very, very difficult to find the balance on it. In the Christian tradition, they say the bridge is like a hair. Yeah. So that also shows it's kind of fragile. You know? And um, so it all significates it's not easy. You know? It is not just a walk at the beach. You know? It's difficult. You have to be very focused. You have to be very, very attent, very aware to make really the, the path. You cannot just do it by... Um, well, let's try it. No, that will not work. So how much you reach on the third path, on the third dimension, that will connect you and will make it easier for you to come back to the fourth. If you are very far away from it, you no, know, like you say, let's say you are a person who is too skeptical about what it cannot grab with the mind. Then um, the death is of a very big shock. And the shock is so strong then, because you will land eventually in the fourth dimension. And the shock is so strong, as all in you said no to it, you can't stay there. So with some people, it just takes a minute or two to, to come back, yeah, in, in worldly time spoken. So it's like like landing and taking the next plane back. You know? Because you can't stay there for longer or free time if you haven't reached a certain closeness to it. It, it makes sense, right? And this is, this is where we are. If you look at our world, of course, it's very clear that we are deeply, deeply absorbed in the second dimension. That means two forces against each other, be it on the individual level, like couples, be it on national level, be it um, on communal levels, there's always forces against. You know? And when they become, um, when they unite, let's say they get up in your mind, then comes this evil things that we see all over the world happening, yeah, that is actually an expression of evil. It's the second force. Yeah. It's these two forces that always want to run against each other. You know? And only when you enter into the third, and finally when we would reach the fourth, there would be meaning peace on earth. You know? So at the moment, 
there is, as is always, this battle yeah, between those who are absorbed completely in the second and those who try to make their way towards the fourth. Yeah. It's not a battle between the fourth and the second. It's a battle actually because we are living in the three-dimensional world. So this is where the battle happens, in those three dimensions. No? So it's a battle between the second and the third. Yeah. That drives those who understood about the third, tries to reach the fourth. You know? and the second can only survive in a way if that does not happen. So you feel this pressure very, very strong, coming, 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 more and more and more. And um, this is something we have to face. The conclusion should be for us to, to intensify our efforts on our path, on our spiritual path. This is the only option we have. There is not a solution in the second dimension. You need to understand that. Yeah. No matter what contracts we do, no matter what intentions we have, no matter what are the technical um, inventions, if you look at all our inventions, you can always see with anything we invented, there is a force against us. Yeah. The mobiles may cause um, uh, dementia, cancer, all kinds. No one really researches it in depth or in, in in many researches because that's not what it is wanted, that is clear. Yeah. Because the, the probability that there is a link is very high, right? Planes have gases, cars have gases that are not good for us. Yeah. You cannot stand behind them and just breathe and feel well. No, so you understand it's not good for us. Um, noises. That we create a, noise, a world that increases in noise, in the level of noise. Yeah, you hardly find anywhere not a machine running that makes noise. Yes, so that all that is second dimension. Yeah, and this second dimension cannot be freed by itself. It needs the third. Yeah, it needs this effort of the third to come out of it and to make finally the step into the force. Yeah. So all political parties, all um, be it the last generation or Friday for Future or the right wing or the left wing parties, it will not happen. It will not work out whatever you think because the mind cannot solve these things in the second dimension. We need to understand that. This is why your own life reflects that. You can't understand yourself by your mind, right? Otherwise, you would have done it by now. But it does not happen like this. You need to go in the third. Yeah, You need to have distance to the second and look from up what is happening, right? So this is where we are. And I hope it gives you a clear understanding and motivates you to go more sincere, more serious into your own journey, into your own path, wherever that is. May Allah bless all of you and gives them courage and fire in our heart, in your heart and protects you, your families and your beloved ones. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.